Hey friends, we're gonna take a very brief little video tour of Metamora, Indiana, the historic canal town in Southeast Indiana. You're gonna see some tents set up around town because uh, we're just wrapping up Canal Days, which is a huge festival that we have every fall. Over here on the left, uh, several shops. Uh, this is the Mr. Fudge's Confectionery. They make the best fudge ever. This blue building is the Martindale House, which is an amazing, an amazing place. They have great food and drinks. It's one of the original taverns on the, uh, on the Whitewater Canal, which transported goods to the Ohio River. Uh, more shops. There's my buddy Mike. Hi, Mike. He didn't see me. There you are. Uh, he owns a music shop here in town. There's our post office. The train place is one of my favorite places. On the right, this is the Whitewater Canal, the remnants of the Whitewater Canal. As you can see, we're still kind of cleaning up for our festival. Metamora definitely is a tourist town, so not a lot goes on here uh, through the week. But on the weekends, the town gets quite, quite busy. The Baines House on the left, uh, the restaurant in town. Actually, we have about three restaurants in town. And up here on the right, you're going to see a big uh, brick building. You see it on the right. That's the grist mill, and the grist mill is absolutely still in operation. It is really fantastic to see the cornmeal being ground by the power of the Whitewater Canal, and you can purchase cornmeal to take it home and make your own cornbread or whatever. On the left, the log cabin ice cream shop, our pizza place, which just opened here in town. Uh, this part of town is called Duck Creek Crossing, and uh, we'll take a uh, spin down through Duck Creek. One of the original farms there on the right. Uh, looks like we've got some up. Uh, oh, they're bringing some uh, wiring through town, it looks like. This is the Village Smith. Smith, the Village Smith. Blacksmithing and so on. Uh, Duck Creek is another uh, historic uh, retail area. We're driving into the sun now, so we'll get in the shade here in just a minute. Um, lots to do and see here in Metamore. This used to be a thriving community in the 1800s when the canal was in full operation. It was one of the main stops on the canal line. And like I said, now it is largely a tourist destination with a number of festivals throughout the year. And once again, we're out here on the main street of Metamora. As you can see, it's a very small town, somewhere around 180 full-time residents. A little tour of Metamora, Indiana.